What is it with kids and candy-colored poison, huh? You might have to search the shadows of dark alleys to get your hands on these treats. Here are 15 banned candies. I'm banned! You're banned. <laughs> the Lazy Larry. Yes! He is lazy. Originally released as Lazy Cakes, the Lazy Larry is a brownie product marketed for children. While that sounds fine and dandy, the problem arises with its choice of ingredients. The Lazy Larry includes 8 milligrams of a supplement called melatonin in each brownie. Melatonin is generally used to help adults sleep, but its effects on children have not been extensively tested. The idea of drugging your kids to calm them down might be appealing to some, but the health effects of the Lazy Lazy Larry or anyone's guess. They need to be isolated and studied. This has led to the FDA openly calling out the Lazy Larry as a potential danger with a possible ban to follow. While melatonin is largely an unregulated supplement, once it crosses into children's candy and dessert, it's a whole different ballgame. Now, whether it will end up being banned in online storefronts is unknown, but maybe think twice about picking up a pack of Lazy Larrys for your kids. Toxic Waste Chew Bar A batch of toxic waste. Originally produced in Pakistan, it became a famous candy for fans of relentlessly, ridiculously sour treats that pushed your taste buds to their limits. But unfortunately, that extreme sour also came with extreme toxicity. The FDA soon discovered that the toxic waste chew bar was, coincidentally enough, actually toxic. You're toxic! Filled with three times the safe amount of lead, this was one candy you needed a hazmat suit to enjoy. A dark but self-fulfilling prophecy in the form of branding. So if you still see one of these bars lying around, dispose of it before you become as toxic as the chew bar itself. Candy Cigarettes Candy cigarette? I don't want a candy cigarette, I want our Annie. One of the oldest types of candy on this list, candy cigarettes first made an appearance in the late 1800s. While not as toxic and dangerous as their real-world counterparts, candy cigarettes have still had quite the negative impact over the decades. Unlike other contraband-related candies on this list, candy cigarettes had official support from tobacco companies who allowed the candy manufacturers to use their branding and products aimed at children. What a crazy world. Apparently, tobacco companies saw the products as free, cheap advertising towards a vulnerable demographic who would later grow up to be tempted by their adult-oriented products. This connection, along with the general distaste of seeing children buy cigarettes, candy or otherwise, led to candy cigarettes going the way of the dinosaur. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears Oh! Gummy bears? The Haribo sugar-free gummy bears stand alone in their legacy for devastatingly immediate effects on those who consume them. While the Haribo gummy bears seem to be a decent choice for a healthier snack on the go due to their lack of sugar and supposedly health-oriented focus, the truth could not be further from this assumption. It's really gruesome and totally opposite. One look at the horrifying yet hilarious Amazon reviews gives a potential buyer a perfect picture of the havoc that the Haribo sugar-free gummy bears will wreak upon purchasers. Due to the usage of a sugar substitute called maltitol, these sugar-free gummy bears have a laxative effect that will cause candy lovers to rush to the nearest washroom in terror, and then straight to the Amazon review section in righteous rage. Nestle Everlasting Gobstopper These are everlasting gobstoppers. The Jawbreaker, or the Gobstopper as they're known internationally, has been one of the iconic candy staples for decades. However, despite its iconic status, the Jawbreaker has not been without its fair share of controversy. Jawbreakers are famous for being dangerous candies that can easily crack a tooth if you're not careful. The most beloved Jawbreaker, the Wonka Everlasting Gobstopper, was actually attached to some tragedies as well. I'm guilty. A nine-year-old girl from Florida was the victim of an exploding gobstopper, a reaction that could happen if the gobstopper is cooled, thawed, and cooled again. These exploding candies were extremely deadly, causing severe damage, pain, and suffering to multiple victims. These children and their families would eventually reach a settlement with Nestle to pay for their plastic surgery and general suffering. While the everlasting gobstopper may be famous, next time you see one in a store, maybe think twice. 
Trolley Roadkill Candy. And speaking of trolleys. In terms of marketing blunders, Trolley Roadkill Candy might be close to the top. Originally founded in Germany in 1948, Trolley was picked up by Kraft for United States distribution. It became a reasonably popular candy brand with a wide appeal. But unfortunately, that appeal reached its limit when they decided to release Trolley Roadkill Candy. I just made bad decisions. A distasteful concept with an even worse rollout. Marketing around dead animals probably wasn't the brightest move, and it backfired on them spectacularly when consumers and animal rights activists boycotted the product en masse. It didn't take long for the candies to be recalled by Kraft themselves and pulled from the shelves forever. Nestle Wonder Ball Wonderful. Wonderful. Originally known as the Nestle Magic Ball, the Wonder Ball was famous throughout the 90s for its bombastic marketing, delicious milk chocolate exterior, and the fun toy which could be found at the center. Unfortunately, just like another delicious chocolatey treat with a toy inside, the Wonder Ball quickly found itself in the FDA's ruthless grip. Gotcha! <laughs> While the Nestle Wonder Ball was a short-lived staple, it managed to capture the hearts and minds of 90s kids everywhere. If only it captured the hearts and minds of the FDA, then maybe it would still be gracing store shelves. Instead, just like the Kinder Surprise Egg, the Wonder Ball would just be a fond memory for those who managed to grab some before they were banned forever. First time here? Then hit that subscribe button and never miss out. Thanks. Lucas Limon con Chili Candy Hey, it's Lucas. One of the worst and most dangerous entries on this list, Lucas Limon Con Chili Candy are destined to go down in history as one of the most disturbing blunders in food history. These candies were originally produced in 1986 by a Mexican candy company with ties to the Mars Corporation, one of the biggest names in candies and sweets. Yet despite their sweet reputation, Mars allowed the release of a product with a dark secret. The candy contained high amounts of lead, which is incredibly toxic and can lead to horrible health-related issues. It's horrible. Horrible. Despite this fact, Mars produced this product until 2004 when an investigation by the Orange County Register uncovered their dark secret. Apparently, they got away with selling the product by claiming it was a seasoning, allowing them to skirt by on the less strict regulations around spices as opposed to candy. The fact that this product was sold for so long was chilling, but it thankfully has been off of store shelves since 2004. Tim Tams. She's gonna go through life looking like Tim Tam because you got an Italian watch. Okay. Tim Tams are malt biscuits that were originally created in Australia by Arnott's in 1964. While a popular local treat in the land down under, Tim Tams have come under fire for some of their more questionable inclusions to their delicious chocolate covered treat. Containing a series of potentially carcinogenic additives, the treat has been banned in numerous countries around the world. You don't ban me. I'll ban you! And while the usually proactive FDA has chosen to remain silent on this product, Tim Tams have still left a few questions for dessert fans. While it seems unknown on whether the FDA will get involved or whether Tim Tams will respond to the controversy and remove the ingredients, for now, it might be better to satisfy your sweet tooth elsewhere. Lollipipe. You ought to come over. Tonight's Pipe Night. The Lollipipe is an adult-themed candy product that caused quite the stir when it was released. However, unlike some of the other foods on this list, the Lollipipe is a fully functional pipe that could be used for tobacco or other substances while still being edible as a candy. However, as it is candy, there were still children who were drawn to the product. This led some parents to speculate that it could drive their children towards drug use or at least be curious about it. And now I'm smoking. Now I'm smoking. <laughs> this led to widespread bans of the lollipipe in local stores. Now it seems one of the only ways to purchase one is through online retailers. While it will probably never be clear how the lollipipe might have impacted children, its controversial nature definitely led its rise in popularity and infamy. 
Bolorindo lollipops. Beer, chips, cigarettes, lollipops. One of the darkest stories in candy history began with the hospitalization of a two-year-old child in Orange County who was found to have abnormally high lead levels in his system. After some investigation, the culprit was discovered to be Bolorindo, a brand of tamarind lollipops sold by Dolmex. My dad's brand. While generally sold in Mexico, these lollipops would often come into the U.S., but unfortunately, these were not simple sweet treats. The wrappers around the lollipops contained massive amounts of lead, which, with prolonged contact, could easily cause lead poisoning. While these horrifying lollipops were pulled from shelves, the problem may never truly be solved. Hippie Sippy. Hippies are supposed to be non-violent. Yeah, well, now you know better, don't you, boy? The Hippie Sippy was a long discontinued product that was first introduced in the 1960s. While some of the treats on this list are directly harmful just by consuming them, there are a few products that are harmful for their impact and concept alone. The Hippie Sippy is definitely one such product. I'm one of them. <laughs> Designed to represent hippie drug culture at its height, the candy itself symbolized heroin with a needle-like ampoule and balls representing uppers and downers. Combine that with weird and off-putting catchphrases like, I'll try anything, and you have a recipe for a candy that was destined to be pulled off of store shelves. Smarties or Rockets how do you know, Mr. Smarty Pants? Smarties, or Rockets as they're known internationally, have been a Halloween staple since 1949. Pretty much every kid can remember devouring a pack or two at least once a year. But despite their plain nature, these candies have recently gained popularity for significantly more dubious reasons. While these sweet sour candies are a fun treat, they've also become infamous for being used as a kind of drug substitute. The tiny tablets are are crushed up on school desks and snorted as a fine powder. I'm a drug addict. This can cause all kinds of health issues. While most kids probably aren't snorting these fun treats, it's clearly enough of a problem to gain national attention. While this is not a Smarties exclusive issue, as similar strategies have been used for other popular childhood treats like Fun Dip, Smarties' sheer popularity definitely increases the likelihood of this illicit usage. Stick to eating them, kids, and not sticking them up your nose. Skittles. Where's free Skittles? Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Skittles are probably the last candy that most candy fans would be expecting to see on this list. First introduced in 1974 by the Wrigley Company, another subsidiary of Mars Inc., Skittles have become one of the biggest names in candy. For many people, if you say candy, Skittles are the first thing you think of. Small M&M-like fruit-flavored candies that are great as a binge snack. However, despite their popularity and adoration from candy lovers, Skittles have an unfortunate darker side. They use a number of artificial additives to create the unique, vibrant colors of the candy themselves. That is not the rainbow I grew up tasting. And one of those additives is titanium dioxide. While originally deemed harmless, recent studies have changed that perception. Now it's believed that titanium dioxide is incredibly toxic and can even damage DNA. This has led to the Mars Corporation being the subject of a full-scale class action lawsuit centered around the candies themselves. Long story short, toxic candies are not just tied to small small, independent companies, even popular staples of the candy industry can potentially be dangerous. Kinder Surprise Eggs Surprise! 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 One of the most famous banned candies, Kinder Surprise Eggs were first created in 1974, almost 50 years ago. They became popular for bringing the sweet and the treat in the form of a chocolate egg containing a surprise toy for kids to play with. While that all sounds like good fun, the fun wouldn't last. Your time is up! Yeah, your time is up! Once the FDA realized they were trying to sell chocolate with a non-edible toy inside, it got banned faster than you can say surprise. While claims of the dangers of Kinder Eggs due to their nature as potential choking hazards may be understandable, they still have plenty of supporters begging the FDA to let them in. Stick around, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and tap or click on another great video.